Okay, let's start. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Before we begin our show this afternoon, let us begin with the prayers. Let us now put ourselves in the holy presence of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So our fellow HNI members and everyone, here now is the prayer for the protection for Hans Inclusion PH. God our Father, we implore you to ask for the enlightenment and rescue, a repentant success of the organization Hands in Inclusion Filipinas. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people, including its former members. Rescue us from false sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the dead. Keep us in putting God first, whatever is the religion of their core team, including the founder, while being inclusive to all those who are in need of inclusion, especially persons with disabilities, LGBTQI+, people confused with their gender, ethnic groups, and poorest of the poor whom you also love. Help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust grudge, conspiracy, and violence, which might affect the people they are trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his core team to be enlightened to see the lies behind the false doctrines and impure and violent motives of the false accusations we make and believe, and open the eyes to the truth of the pride that we hold. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord. Help us to realize that fear, envy, anger, and unforgiveness comes from Satan, and he may be stop whatever pride that he is holding. Please allow us to know ourselves a child of God. We also pray for those people who are blamed by Hans Inclusion Filipinas to repent from the sins they are guilty of without resorting or believing in any false accusations made by either them or any enemy they encounter. Forgive us of our accusations in any form and from all the wrong timings. In your eyes, the organization did. This we ask in your name. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. Saint Pedro Alonso, pray for us. Saint Claire of Montefalco, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Our Lady, help of all Christians, intercede for us. Saint Monica, pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Augustine, pray for us and our family and our friends. Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Benedict. Pope St. Peace to Ted and Pope St. John Paul II, rescue us from our unintended wrongdoings. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy and change the heart of everyone. All organizations and all the people who formerly work with the organization who made terrible mistakes, and those the people who took part in a conspiracy to falsely accuse anyone and hands in inclusion. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us from our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> The, the words inflicted upon him to do COVID-19. This is...
Ang mga pananaw at opinion ng pag-uulat ng mag-uulat sa programang ito ay hindi ang pangunahing posisyon o payag ng pamunuan ng organisasyong ito. The views and opinions expressed in this live report are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the management of this organization. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our Inturajo Special Report. Today is Sunday, September 26, 2021. I am Carlos Miguel Kanahashi and we're broadcasting simultaneously on Inturajo and on the Hands in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. As we commence our show this afternoon, let us have our daily verse for today. From 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 5. For just as we share abundantly in the sufferings of Christ, so also our comfort abounds through Christ. We shall commence our presentation in just a moment, and we will be back after these commercials. Now this. Oh, my God. 
Welcome back to our special report. Let us now commence our presentation. Hi everyone, good day to all of you. This is my pre-recorded presentation proper for the Inclorajo Special Report. Today is Sunday, September 26, 2021. I am Carlos Miguel Kanahashi from Hands in Inclusion, Philippines. In this pre-recorded presentation proper, we will discuss to you about Chusok Festival. So what is the Chusok Festival? Chusok is also known as Hangawi. This is a major harvest festival and a three-day holiday in South Korea celebrated on the 15th day of the 8th month of the lunar calendar on the full moon. In North Korea, they only celebrate for the day of Chusok. The essence of this event is when, on this day, a full harvest moon appeared in the sky and families gathered to enjoy time together and give thanks to their ancestors for the plentiful harvest. How does Chuseok start it? The origins of Chuseok can be traced back to Korea's past as an agrarian society. Chuseok is also known as Hangawi, which means the 15th day of August, according to the lunar calendar. On this day, a full harvest moon appeared in the sky and families gathered to enjoy time together and give thanks to their ancestors for the plentiful harvest. The women of the family also prepared an ancestral memorial ceremony called Charie by filling a table with food including newly harvested rice and fruit. Koreans celebrate Chuseok by making special foods, particularly a certain kind of rice cake called Songpyeon. Songpyeon is made with finely ground new rice and the dough is kneaded into small round shapes and filled with sesame seeds, chestnuts, red beans, or other similar ingredients. The rice cakes are arranged upon layers of pine needles as they are steamed, filling the home with the delicate and fresh fragrance of autumn. On the eve of Chuseok, family members gather to make songpyeon together, illustrating the importance of family in Korean society. Another Chuseok tradition in modern-day Korea is that of gift-giving. Koreans will present gifts to not only their relatives, but also to friends and business acquaintances to show their thanks and appreciation. Some customary gift ideas are high quality cuts of beef, fresh fruits such as apples, and gift sets of everything from traditional Korean snacks to useful items like shampoo. If we look around supermarkets and department stores before Chuseok, you will no doubt encounter a huge variety of gift sets, sets on sale. Spam, which is extremely popular in Korea, is actually one of the most popular gift sets to present to those near and dear to you. Chuseok and tasty Korean food go hand in hand. A common Korean dish eaten during Chuseok is called Songpyeon. It's a rice cake made from fresh rice dough. The dough is kneaded into small balls and these rice dough balls are filled with tasty ingredients like chestnuts, sesame seeds, and red beans. On the night before Chuseok, it's a tradition that the whole family gathers to prepare songpyeon. Because the songpyeon are steamed over a thick layer of fresh pine needles, the whole house is filled with the lovely fresh scent of autumn. I would like to share you a story about the legend of the moon rabbit, ladies and gentlemen. The period around Chuseok is often accompanied by images of a rabbit living on the moon. This classic image is rooted in a Buddhist legend related to Chuseok. This legend goes something like this. One day, the heavenly emperor disguised himself as a beggar. He encountered a monkey, a fox, and a rabbit who were studying Buddhist wisdom. The beggar asked the animals for food, so they went out to get him a meal. The monkey brought fruit, the fox offered him fish, 
And the rabbit brought the beggar some grass. Because he wanted to give the beggar something more nutritious than grass, the rabbit offered himself up as a meal. The beggar or emperor was so touched by this gesture that he appointed the rabbit to be the honorable guardian of the moon. To summarize our topic, Chuseok is one of the Korea's important national celebrations. It's something like an equivalent to Christmas or Thanksgiving in the West because all three of them are national celebrations that emphasize family, food, and tradition. But Chuseok is certainly a unique celebration, so read on if you want to know what makes Chuseok as such a special Korean festivity. Chuseok originated during a time that Korea was an agricultural society and it's traditionally a harvest festival. That's the reason why Chuseok is also known as Hangawi, which means the 15th day of August in Korean according to the moon calendar. And that's the end of my presentation. Thank you very much and kamham sam nida to all. Okay, as what we have mentioned earlier during our presentation, we discussed about Chuseok. Chuseok Festival is known as the Korean Thanksgiving Day. This is one of the biggest and most important holidays in the Korean pen Peninsula. Family members from near and far come together to share food and stories and to give thanks to their ancestors. And this, and the reason why we celebrate Chuseok is to thank the heavens for a successful harvest and to hope for another in the year ahead. Okay. We will be back after around a 5 to 10 minute break. We will be back with some of our announcements. We will be back. So stay tuned, guys. We'll be back after 5 to 10 minutes. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Welcome back to our special report. Let us have some announcements. Here are some of our announcements. First of all, we have some products for sale at the Hands in Inclusion Philippines online shop. The products that you can buy from our online shop are the following. For our t-shirts, the one inclusion t-shirts, it's available in red, black, blue, white, and yellow. All sizes were 275 pesos. For our one inclusion nation tote bags, it's available in white and black. Sizes range from medium to large and prices range from 150 pesos to 200 pesos. If you purchase this on Shopee, here are the following prices. For our one inclusion nation tote bags, 
the price is only 150 pesos. In the case of our One Inclusion Nation t-shirts, the price is only 275 pesos on Shopee. For the first time, Anzin Inclusion Philippines will sell digital artworks. Sizes range from 8 by 10 inches to 16 by 20 inches. Prices range from 600 pesos to 1,750 pesos. If you want to have an acrylic glass, but it's optional, you have to pay an additional 175 pesos to 500 peso charge as well. For our stickers, we include RES, 250 pesos, and the ini ko ang mga PWDs, which is 150 pesos. So, how can we pay, ladies and gentlemen? For, well, first of all, we will be very strict on payments. Payment first before purchase. We're accepting payments from GCash as well via the QR code that I will show this to you in just a moment. We will deliver your ordered products via GoGo Express in NCR or Metro Manila and its surrounding areas and LBC nationwide. Just a reminder, the Hands in Inclusion Philippines online shop is temporarily closed for areas under the Enhanced Community Quarantine and the Modified Enhanced Community Quarantine. But it will continue to serve in areas under the general community quarantine and the modified general community quarantine. If you purchase our products on Shopee, it will not be affected. Its operating hours are from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. For a full list of orders, please visit the Hansen Inclusion Philippines Facebook page or email us at hansen.inclusion at gmail.com. We will introduce to you our fundraising project, Baria Para Sa Inclusion. So what is Baria Para Sa Inclusion, ladies and gentlemen? Well, first of all, Baria Para Sa Inclusion is an ongoing fundraising project of Hands in Inclusion Philippines. The purpose of this are the following, to help persons with disabilities who are less fortunate and unemployed due to this trying time and also for the formality of Hands in Inclusion Philippines and its expenses as well. Regardless, no matter what, it doesn't really matter if the amount is smaller or larger, you can help persons with disabilities and Hands in Inclusion Philippines for its projects and expenses in the future. My question is, how can we do this? We have two ways for you to do this, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to donate via coin bank, put some any amount in either a recycled container or in a coin bank. If it's full and heavy, message us at Hansen Inclusion Philippines Facebook page for the deposit. If you want to donate via GCash, send any amount via GCash and scan the QR code that is flashed on your screen. Send your proof of donation via hansen.inclusion at gmail.com with the subject of Baria Paras Inclusion dash Gcash dash your name. So here's our QR code for those who want to donate via Gcash and also for your transactions at the Hansen Inclusion Philippines online shop. We also see this in one of our posts on the Hansen Inclusion Philippines Facebook page as well. Magtulungan tayo hanggang dun. So guys, what are you waiting for? Please, please, and please, please purchase our products from the Hansen Inclusion Philippines online store. And also to donate to Hansen Inclusion Philippines as well. Please help Hansen Inclusion Philippines for its fundraising project, and we are aiming to raise funds in our organization. Guys, for those who did this, you will be glad you did. For those who did this, Thank you very much for your continuous generosity and for your support to the organization. And let us have the time to rebuild in order for us to have a bigger, a better, and a bolder hands in inclusion Philippines.
on Wednesday, October 13, 2021, from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m., the LaSalle College of St. Vinyl, in collaboration with the Hub of Innovation for Inclusion and Peter D. Garucho Jr. Innovations Institute will have a webinar on Sustainable Designs Through Digital Tech. And the speaker is Ideon Catalan, a Solutions Architect. This event is free via Zoom. If you want to register, follow the Hub of Innovation for Inclusion and the Peter D. Garucho Jr. Innovations Institute on Facebook. There's a post regarding this webinar as well. There are some activities coming up for the month of October in Best Buddies, Philippines. On October 2, we'll be making creamy carrot pineapple cake. On October 9, we'll be making fantastic fudgy brownies. We will be celebrating World Food Day on October 16. We will also have Wellness Wednesday with Coach Pepper on October 20. We will have Diwali on October 23. And on October 30, a fairy tale Halloween. So guys, if you want to join these events, Invest Buddies Philippines for the month of October, follow Best Buddies Philippines on Facebook and Instagram, send them a message, and they will send you the registration form and link as well. So if you register this ahead of time, they will give you the kits early. If you don't, they will be full slots already. In Best Buddies Philippines, make a friend, be a friend. Friends look out for each other, and friends become part of the family as well. Follow Hansen Inclusion Philippines on our social media pages and its digital platforms as well. It will be appreciated for you guys to do this as early as now. Follow us on Facebook, Hansen Inclusion PH, Incorajo, Inquisports, Inclunihan, and the online shop. Instagram, Hansen Inclusion PH, Kumo, HNI Philippines, and also subscribe to the Hansen Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. So guys, for those who did this, thank you very much. Okay, it's now have the time for our shout outs and greetings. First to Che Yi, uh, good afternoon and thank you for watching. To those who are celebrating their birthdays today, happy birthday and expect the more birthdays to come. To those who are celebrating their anniversaries, happy anniversary as well. And then I would like to say good afternoon and thank you to the following. To my family, good afternoon. Hi. To Hanson Inclusion Philippines, Best Buddies Philippines, Best Buddies Benil, Angat, PWD United, and other PWD organizations, thank you very much as well. To my high school and college friends, good afternoon as well and to those who are watching it may be a good morning good afternoon or good evening wherever you are in the world i hope you guys are in a good mood but not but if not you may use this time to improve on your mental health and your well-being as well to those who are watching us on inclu radio thank you very much as well if you missed this episode it will be viewed on the Hands in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel for your viewing pleasure. As I wrap up our show this afternoon, I would like to share with you. I would like to share with you something. Our quote for the day. Chusok is coming soon, and I hope you spend a good time with your family. You can spend Chusok with moonlight drawn by clouds as well. From Park Bo Go. Okay, that's a wrap for our episode of the Inturajo Special Report for Sunday, September 26, 2021. I'll be back again tomorrow for Editorial Monday edition. On behalf of Inco Radio and Hans in Inclusion Philippines, I am your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi, saying, May the Almighty God bless us all. Pagpalain na tayo ng buong may kapal, may bagong tapang sa One Inclusion Nation, H&I, God first. Thank you very much for watching.
Have a blessed afternoon to all. Have a productive week ahead and bye for now. Bye-bye.